Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to unexpected fan interferences in sports. Now, this for me, I know I'm going to enjoy it just because I, I, I love it personally when people like run onto the, uh, onto the sport field or pitch or however you want to refer to it. I just find it adds a, it just adds a bit of humor to the game. And I feel like a lot of people out there, I know sports, you know, we all love sports, but I think, feel like people take it so seriously now. It's just, it is ultimately a game. It is, love it or hate it. Ultimately, it's just a game and it's entertainment. And for me, when people like, when fans interfere with the game, I can understand why it would be frustrating. Maybe, maybe your team is on the verge of scoring or something like that. And then a fan interferes and they have to start the play all over again. I get that, but for me, it's just a bit of harmless fun. As long as nobody gets hurt or anything, it's just a bit of fun. So yeah, this, I know I'm gonna enjoy this one. I hope you guys do too. Let's do it. All right, let's go. But I mean, the ball, the baseball was, it landed in the crowd. Oh, I don't know about that one. I feel like the fan was well within his rights to try and get that, or should he have left it? And somebody in a parachute has just what on the, the hell? <gasps> he landed in the ring. How on earth? Oh man, oh my god. Oh mate, he's getting smothered. <laughs> Good connection. Good connection. Okay, that one looked like it was on course to go in the glove of the baseball player. So maybe that one was inappropriate. We've got a fan running onto the field. Hey, and Matt Diaz comes over and issues a body block and helps the security people take that fool down. <laughs> that fool. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Spectator losing control of it. You can't have that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Were you trying to injure Tom Brady in any way? No. Maybe distract him. One week after the incident, police tracked him oh. down. He was charged with a misdemeanor. Okay, that kind of stuff is probably is crossing the line because that could damage the eyes of the of the player. So yeah, that one's inappropriate for sure. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I mean, that one's fairly harmless. Don't know. He goes after the first pitch. It is a fair ball. Bautista gets it as he has to deal with the fan. That was a costly souvenir. Oh, did he get kicked out? The guy got kicked out of the game for that. Oh. Seems a bit harsh. Fly ball down the right field line. Bautista over. He's got room. He missed. Let him catch the ball. That's interference. The question is, will we be able to complete it? There's a fan coming out on the ice. Oh, man. Dude, that guy got smashed by the linesman. I mean, by the ref. Jeez, man. Did you need to go so hard? She went bang. All of a sudden. Trying to take it back. Taking it back to the house. 
He's got it. Oh, he gets grabbed by a fan. Ooh. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that okay, all right. Kick him out. Kick him out. Come on now. Come on now. That's not legal. The guy was literally like trying to get his helmet off him or something. They get attacked out of the 30. They're down to the 20. All the band is out on the field. He's going to go out. What? What's going on? Why are all these people on the field? Was that the marching band for the team? Why were they all so, you know, far into the field? And a drive down the left field line. That is going to be a phase hit. That's such a thoughtless thing to do. Yeah, you drop it now, but you touched it. What's the, what's the big deal? He touched the baseball. The, you know, he didn't take it. It's still on the, on the diamond. I feel like sometimes the commentators, you know, they, they really go so f with their hyperbole. They just go, it's it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. It's like, chill out, man. It's, he just touched the baseball. Mickey drives one to left field. Schwarber is on the run. It's gone. Good catch. Cabrera back to second. It'll be a two base hit and not a homer. Kicked out. And now the game is coming to him, and he's getting ready to take <laughs> over. And and they're going six. They're going six against five. <laughs> Tell the Baylor fans you can't do that. Oh. Unfortunately, there was a little boy on the floor. Right? Wow. Oh. What, is, what is he doing? No idea. Back to his parents is what he's doing. That ball is hit really well to left field. I can't. Did he reach over the wall? Ow. Yeah. See you, buddy. Smell you later. <laughs> Smell you later. <laughs> and we have a fan on the ice. My goodness. You don't Whoa. see this very often. Yeah, there's wow. no grip on the shoes, is there? Down the left field line for Hannigan, it is falling fair. And the fan touched it, interfered with the ball. That's going to be costly for the Red Sox. Oh, I see. So if a fan touches a baseball, even if they don't take the baseball, that play is, is cancelled. It has to be redone. Is that is that the rule? Okay, I, I guess now I see why. Okay, fair enough. The Boston fans became so excited they came on the field. Davidson goes back to pass, throws in the end zone, the fan almost blocks it, and the oh. Patriots win it 28 21. On play action, it's the tight end once nice again catch. for a touchdown. So she goes out to celebrate <laughs> with her brother. Oh, that's her brother. I think she had a, a few too bevies, a few too many beverages. Drifting foul. Miller chasing after it. Miller collides and he can't make the catch. But that is out number three. Oh man. Oh! Oh my god, he's they're actually fighting. I mean, okay, that one was a bit uh, crazy. Left field, Melky Cabrera ranging toward foul ground. He's got a play. I think Hold on. they called him out. Shoves that one. Melky? That fan did reach into the field. That is play. fan <laughs> interference, <laughs> cut and dry. But the baseball looked like it was going into the crowd. Like, if the baseball's got like looks like it's going into the crowd, shouldn't it be fair game if a fan wants to take the baseball? Or if a player is capable of making the catch, the baseball should not be t touched at all. Is that the rule? The fan runs onto the court. He appeared before a judge who said he would throw out the charges if Imer never set foot again in the American Airlines arena. Imer said, deal. Oh my God, he went to court. He actually just had something thrown on the court. Stuffed the animal came out of the crowd and they could decide to utilize a technical foul here. 
Oh, another laser. You see off the helmet there of Osweiler, somebody directing a laser. And we've seen it a couple of other times as well. Perhaps that has something to do with the drop passes. I have to say, even though I find it unacceptable for them, for fans to use like lasers and stuff on players, the aim, the accuracy, because that fan's probably sat like a couple hundred meters or, or yards, you know, away. And the, and the laser dot's so small, it's, it's quite impressive, no? <laughs> this lady has a history with the Nuggets. Several years ago, she was found stalking or following several players. She has basically been banned from the arena, but she got in tonight. Pop this one up on the third base side. Escobar drifting into foul territory. And that's got to be a big freak. The ghost of Barton that lives. <laughs> Yeah, that was in the player's hand. Between innings. To the right side, and Adrian Gonzalez leans in. Oh, yeah. Took it out of his glove. Bravo. Oh, yeah. oh, Great catch. Great catch. Baby in one arm, baseball in the other. Fantastic. How has he not fallen over? The grip on those sneakers. This is lifted to left. Is this a bang? It is. It's going to spin into the bullpen. He was only fair by four feet. <laughs> Spicing drive. Uh, oh uh, my uh, goodness uh, gracious, what the heck? And now some moron has run on the field. Why doesn't he have any shoes on? Falls off his back foot, and it is hauled in in the end zone by Jordan Cameron. Torres is banned from a lost stadium for a year. <laughs> but when you ban players from, I mean, fans from stadiums, how are you going to enforce it? It's just not possible. Unless you have, you know, a photo of the person next to every turnstile or entrance. But even then, you're never going to enforce that. Crazy fan going over the glass. First time I've seen that in the U.S. That's a bit strange. I think someone's had a little bit too much. Uh, Ooh, wow. Have a good time. Ball's in the air to right. Santiago sends that one deep. Schaefer at the fence. He reaches up, brings it back. He was going to make that catch. Make that catch. There's a laser being pointed on the field from the stand. It needs to be stopped with security. Please take a look at that. Section 343. If you take a close look at the knee of the holder, you can see the flickering light of the laser. Carpenter missed the kick. He complained to the ref, who mouthed the words, no, I didn't see it. <sighs> of the crowd has stayed here. That's ridiculous. What, what is that? Whoever threw that. A beer bottle. Should be banned from this arena for life. Yeah, I mean, if, because, but I, I Usually at stadiums, don't they only serve bottles in, I mean, beer in like plastic bottles or plastic cups? So it's not like the bottle could have shattered, but still, it is a pretty dumb thing to do. Davis, and a little flare, that's gonna fall for Squirts down, a fan grabs it. Ooh. Oh my god. They fired a firework into the arena. Look at the atmosphere. This atmosphere is incredible. It looks like a football atmosphere or soccer, like in a basketball game. Incredible. Uh, 
it's, and it's, and it's, you never want him to be that guy that. that uh, well, if, if they haven't removed him yet, John Gibbons will make a phone call. Yeah. <laughs> Stabbed in the back, and she can be heard crying out in pain. Her what? Her was quickly subdued by other spectators and security Oh, my guys. God. That last one, that was a completely different level from what I was expecting. I can't believe that fan did that. Hopefully they're in prison right now. Crazy fun video. I really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people, you know, a lot of you guys might be saying, oh no, it's terrible. These people should never do that. But I honestly don't mind it. I just think it's a bit of harmless fun. As long as nobody is hurt, you know, I just think it's a bit of harmless fun. But yes, I can imagine if my team were on the verge of winning, I don't know, the Super Bowl and a fan ruins the play that would let them win the game, I would be probably really, really annoyed. So I see both sides of the argument. Let me know where you guys stand on it. Do you do you hate these kinds of fan interferences? Do you enjoy them or are you somewhere in the middle? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.